What a wonderful crowd. It's so good to see so many people here, and I'm glad that Jacksonville uh, scheduled this beautiful day. Uh, I'm Jerry Barker. I'm uh, president of the board of directors of the Friends of the Mountain to Sea Trail, the nonprofit group that supports the Mountain to Sea Trail across the state. <coughs> My dermatologist demands I wear a hat whenever I'm outdoors. I've, I've been outdoors too many days in my life, and so now I have to protect myself a little bit better. And the pollen uh, seems to be working on all of our throats, uh, <clears throat> so that's an issue too. Well, what, what do I like about the Mountain to Sea Trail? Uh, there's not much. I've, I've hiked parts of it all across the state, and we have a real jewel in North Carolina to have a trail that goes from Clingman's Dome to the Kitty Hawk Sand Dunes. Uh, a couple of weeks, I'm going up and hike some along the, the Blue Ridge Parkway. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to be having to buy a tank of gas and a couple of nice meals and some snacks as we pass by places and rent some campgrounds. And so the trail is much more than a trail. It's an economic driver for a lot of these small communities across the state. And it's one of the things that we really are excited about it. <clears throat> Another thing I like about the trail is we have an abundance of passionate volunteers that do the building of the trail, the maintaining, uh, putting the signs up, all the things that help make the trail hikeable. They are the, the vision and the passionate people that keep this thing going on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, just a wonderful group of friends that we have. Well, what about the Coastal Crescent Trail? I'm going to jump on this rails to trail uh, section uh, after this meeting today to check out that six miles and then I'll be back on other days. I'm from Raleigh, but I'll be back to check more of that out. But I, I, as I was driving down this morning, I thought, um, you know, somebody had the vision in, in 1915 to create the Mount Mitchell State Park, establish the Mount Mitchell State Park. And now we're getting ready to celebrate the 100th anniversary. And, and, you know, just we, we, we're so glad that somebody 100 years ago set that land aside and we don't have condominiums all over the side of Mount Mitchell these days. Just think our great-grandchildren will be looking back in 2115 and saying, gosh, who are those bright people that set aside the Coastal Crescent Trail? And maybe we'll have a picture of this group and we'll say, we were those bright people that decided to have this vision and make this come alive. It's a great thing to be on the ground floor of something that's, that has this great potential of the Coastal Crescent Trail. I'm going to introduce uh, Kate Dixon, the Executive Director of the Mountains, uh, Friends of the Mountain to Sea Trail. Kate has been in that position for about seven years, has great energy and passion for the trail. Uh, she goes all over the state from the mountains to the coast, promoting the trail, talking to communities, working to keep the trail being developed and built. So Kate, Welcome to this meeting. Thank you all. It is so wonderful to be here. And um, Jerry just said I have a lot of energy. And one of the reasons I have a lot of energy is that I get to meet people like you. So thank you all for your great enthusiasm. I wanted to take just a moment and recognize we have so many um, um, elected officials, dignitaries here today. And I wanted to make sure that all of them are recognized. First of all, thank you for to State Senator Harry Brown for coming. Thank you. Um, we also have um, Chairman Barbara Eichner from the Orange County, uh, Onslow County Commissioners. And sorry about that, um, <laughs> Onslow County Commissioners. And she's going to speak to you a little bit later today, as well as um, Millionaire Williams. Um, the Mayor Pro Tem of Jacksonville, Michael Lazara. And two members of the Jacksonville City Council, um, Bob Warden and Jerry Bittner. We have Mayor Anita Dingler here from Holly Ridge. And from North Topsail Beach, Mayor Dan Tuman. Thank you. Then we have um, the Jacksonville City Manager, um, Richard Woodruff. All right. Now I want to tell you um, what it is that we are celebrating today. Um, three year, about three years ago, um, the Friends of the Mountains to Sea Trail, which is, as Jerry mentioned, the organization, the nonprofit organization that helps support this um, trail statewide, 
we were thinking about the trail in the coastal plain and felt that we wanted to create a way for people to hike across the coastal plain that really showed what an extraordinary part of North Carolina this, this is. And um, I want to recognize one person who's here in the, in the audience today, Bill Sadler, who was our board president. He's from New Bern. And he really helped lead this effort. And so thanks to him for what he did. Um, but so when we talk to people about the coastal plain and where you would put a hiking trail, this area of North Carolina, this southeastern part of North Carolina, just jumped to the forefront. And we started developing a route um, using talking to experts, um, using um, mapping, whatever, to try and figure out some general route. And then starting about two years ago, we had this draft route, and I just started coming down and meeting with people. And I'd you know, call somebody, I'd sit with them, I'd say, this is what I know, tell me more, tell me more about where you live, who else should I talk to? And out of that, um, we have developed this Coastal Crescent Trail route. And it really came because of the help of a lot of people in this, in this audience today. The Coastal Crescent Trail is now, it's now 316 miles. 80 of that is, is either on trail or on forest, unpaved forest road. And the rest right now are connecting road routes. Um, but the, the goal is that eventually it might become all trail over time. We've divided that Coastal Crescent Trail into five segments. And the way we divided it is we were thinking, you know, what are the really unique places um, to help people who are wanting to do the trail to learn a new place in North Carolina they've never been before. Or even for your own citizens to say, oh, I didn't know that about Onslow and Pender County. So what we're opening today is what we call the Onslow Bight and Jacksonville segment of the Coastal Crescent Trail. The, um, the, what is an Onslow Bight? Do you all know what that is? I don't know. A bight is uh, it's the, actually an ecological term. And it refers to where there's a shallow bend in the coastline. and in the Onslow Bight, that's between Cape Fear, uh, Cape Fear and Cape Lookout. That's, your, that's the bight. And when the ecologists are talking, they're talking not just about the coast and the beach, but also the surrounding land area. And this area of North Carolina is considered one of the most important ecological areas in all of North America. It's incredibly important. And because of that, um, there are land trusts like the North Carolina Land Trust, Coastal Land Trust, Van Pearsall and Janice Allen are here today. Um, the Nature Conservancy, Camp Lejeune are working really hard to help protect a lot of this land. Um, so this really amazing ecological place that you live. Um, so we, we developed a route that really helps people see a lot of those, those places. Um, and just to give you sort of an overview of some of the great things you'll see. Um, the first, if you're starting from the, what I think of as the western end of, of the route, there's 19 miles of trail forest road in Holly, um, Holly Shelter Game Lands, which is in um, western Pender County. And um, so that's the beginning of, of your route here in, um, in this particular part of the Coastal Crescent Trail. 19 miles, it's, it's a 66,000 acre tract of land, really incredible. And the Wildlife Resources Commission has been wonderful to work with. I think we have two folks here from wildlife. Um, one is Casey Phillips, a staff member, and then Joe Barker, one of the, um, one of the commissioners is here today too. And really appreciate them being here and all the help they've, we've, they've given us. Then the trail drips down onto Topsail Island and it goes through Surf City. It goes through um, North Topsail, and people who are on the trail see some really special places, like it goes a quarter mile from the Turtle Center. It goes on um, past Ocean City, the African-American community, um, beach community there. And it you passes two of the observation towers built in Operation Bumblebee. Um, it goes on through Stones Creek Game Lands in Sneeds Ferry and past the Onslow County Environmental Education Center that just opened. And then here in Jacksonville, it follows six miles of the rail trail, um, which is one of the most special, I think, beautiful trails in all of North Carolina. Um, 
so when people who've done the whole trail tell me they you know they've hiked all across the state what do they talk about they talk about things like i just told you i saw this amazing place in holly shelter game lands or whatever but the other thing that they talk about are people that they met and people um and the, People is such a big part of the experience. And for me, in working on this trail, it's been the same thing. So I wanted to mention just a few other people here in um, Anzo and Pender County who have really helped make this happen. Teresa Carter and Stephanie um, Key, her staff person. Tim Richards, who's with the County Planning Department. Um, Tammy Proctor with Chamber on T Topsail Island. Todd Rademacher from Surf City. And Peggy Holland with Jacksonville MPO. Um, the next thing I want to tell you about a little bit is you've all been given a guidebook. Um, these, are av these are available also for download off of our website. Um, and these are, we plan to keep this up on a regular basis, so we'll be updating it. But we've printed a thousand of them. And if you all, are, you want some extra copies to give to anybody, you can speak to Joellen Mason. Where is Joellen? Because I want you all to see, there's Joellen. Joellen is our other staff person for the trail, and she's just terrific. And ask her, and, and she can give you copies or put you on a list to get more copies if you need them and want to give them out. This was also really made possible by Duke Energy Foundation. They gave us a $75,000 grant to help make this guidebook possible and also to just make more things happen on the trail along um, this, this, the Coastal Crescent Trail. So I want to close by talking about the future of the trail. If you look at the map of this section of the trail, which is in the center, it's the center fold of your guidebook. It's very sexy, what can I say? Um, um, the red parts on this map show where the trail is on trail or on forest road. And the black is where people will be following roads um, to make the connections. What is going to happen in, in reality is that most people, understandably, will be on what's in the red. Um, they're going to want to be on the trail or on the beach um, and seeing those particular parts. But the goal is that eventually this is all red. It's all trail. Um, and what's happened statewide is that gradually, you know, everywhere in North Carolina, the map started like this. And then people say, oh, well, what can I do to connect this area or that area? And I wanted to give you an example in the triangle um, where when the, the friends, the group I work for, when we were founded 18 years ago, the triangle had 25 miles of mountains to sea trail. It now has 105 continuous miles. And it's that piecing together of, oh, I, we have this, we have that. And to help bring that good um, vibes to you all in building your trail, we actually brought down trail tools to help do the, the ribbon cutting coming from the Eno River volunteers um, who made that connecting piece that pulled that 105 miles together. So we brought those tools down to help, help you all out in making those connections yourself. Um, another thing I wanted to say is that it's, it really, and Jerry mentioned this when he started, what really helps take, make a trail go off is when volunteers get excited in a particular area. And you are starting here to have a, a trail group um, develop. And we have um, three real leaders of that. Um, one is Tim Supple, who wasn't here, able to be here today. And one is Wilbur Gerganus, who's in the back there, if he'll raise his hand, and his wife, Jane. Um, so we're just so delighted to have their help. And with that, um, good blessings and, um, and bringing you this, this opening of this trail. I'm so excited to work with you all and wish you happy trails. And on that, let me introduce our next speaker, and that is Barbara Eichner, Chair of the County Commissioners. Thank you, Kate. I guess the first thing I need to say is the secret is out. Everybody now knows how wonderful Onslow County really is. But we are grateful <clears throat> that you have taken the time to come out today to acknowledge the Mountain to the Sea Trail. And we're pleased that we are the first of the segments that, that is being established here today. So I know as county commissioners, elected officials, um, 
we all are in a time of, of decision making and budget workshops and just the fact that you took your time to come out shows how important you think that, that today's event is and I concur this is huge for Onslow County. Uh, I would like to say to the citizens that are here today I hope you take advantage and go out and explore the Coastal Crescent. This is a part that is within our grasp, within our communities. And the Onslow Bite is certainly exciting to know that we are so unique and have the most ecological diversity of anywhere in North America. That's huge. So why as residents would we not want to go see the mere historical value of what is at North Topsail um, or on Topsail Island, the lookout towers that were involved in the secret mission that the Naval uh, established during World War II is a, a very beneficial part of our history. And if, if history isn't your thing, maybe you'd like to stop by the Environmental Education Center in Sneeds Ferry on Highway 210. It's only been open about a year, but the response has been uh, tremendous. We're extremely proud of it. The exhibits there are from small birds to bears, from foxes to fish. But our greatest attraction is our 12-foot-long alligator. And by far, he gets the most photographs taken. <laughs> but regardless of what your desire is, whether it's a bike trail or whether it's a nature walk, you walk at your own pace. You take your time. You enjoy the environment around you. That's what it's all about, being out in the fresh air, in your environment, and enjoying the creation that we have here in Onslow County. And if you're like I am after a brisk walk on the beach, the old appetite kicks up. So stop by one of the many restaurants in Sneeds Ferry and eat some wild-caught seafood. That too is part of our environment here in Onslow County. And that's probably one of the most tasty parts of what we have to offer. But regardless of what your desire is, when you're out in the fresh air, in the sunshine, enjoying God's creation, you can truly appreciate how fortunate you are to be in Onslow County. So thank you for coming. Thank you, Mountains to the Sea Trails, for including Onslow County. And we'll share our secret of how great Onslow County is with the rest of you. Have a good day, and thank you for coming. Our next speaker is the Mayor Pro Tem of the City of Jacksonville, Michael Lazara. Good morning. What a beautiful Carolina day. This is the uh, second event that I guess we've had here at the landing and I'm just mesmerized by being here and looking out and looking at the water and watching the beautiful bridge and we've just come such a long way in Onslow County and it just uh, every time I come to an event like this it just uh, it really uh, makes me feel special because this is a very special place. As you can see, I'm ready to start hiking. So anybody that wants to join me afterwards, I'm dressed and ready to go. But uh, thank you for being here. On behalf of the City Council and the City of Jacksonville, I want to thank the volunteers, the staff, and all those who have labored to create the Mountains to the Sea Trail. This is truly a remarkable accomplishment in creating a collection of local trails, state trails, and that is made by volunteers into a genuine treasure. Also to be thanked 
is the Friends of the Mountains to the Sea Trail for their efforts to expand and maintain the trail and particularly for the vision to create these other routes. One of which we're celebrating here today. This trail fits well with the clean and green, clean and green Jacksonville campaign. It fits well with our citizens and visitors who crave the outdoor activities. And it fits well with our appreciation for nature, for our environment, for our history, and for our honors to those who serve and sacrifice. At a point in the future, this trail will include the Lejeune Greenway and Trail and will pass by the Freedom Fountain, as well as the memorials for the Beirut service, the 9-11, the Vietnam Veterans, and the Mountfort Point Marines memorials. This connection to the Coastal Crescent Trail, as well as the hikers walking from the mountains to the sea trail, will bring more attention to our desire for an improved quality of life for our citizens and all of the visitors to Onslow County. This weekend full of wonderful weather, we saw people in droves coming outdoors to participate in walking, riding, hiking the exciting 17 miles of trails that will connect this segment, or to visit our parks and facilities to get out on the water. I personally believe that having assets like this, this segment, and our rich culture of outdoor activities makes us an attractive place for those who want a rich quality of life with outdoor activities. Thank you to the Friends of the Mountains to the Sea Trail for your work on the guidebooks. Thank you for your support of this incredible asset and for letting us become part of an epic vision created by an army of volunteers. Thank you to the county and to the tourism staff, to people like Lauren Jones and Alicia Alford who have strongly supported trails in our community, and for all the work that has been done to make this thousand mile mountains to the sea trail a reality. On behalf of the city of Jacksonville, we welcome you and all those who will come on this Coastal Crescent Trail. Thank you very much for being here today. We truly appreciate it. Have a great day. Our next speaker is the uh, District Manager for Duke Energy Progress, uh, Millie Chalk. Well, good morning. North Carolina is a diverse state from the natural resources that we enjoy to the industries in which we work. And today we celebrate with the opening of the Onslow Bight and Jacksonville segment of the Coastal Crescent Trail in what is considered to be one of the nation's most ecologically diverse and important natural areas. And on behalf of Duke Energy, we're honored to have the opportunity to partner with the Friends to the Mountains to the Sea Trail and be here to celebrate this milestone today. This trail means something different to everyone. To some, it's a challenge to hike um, on more than a thousand miles of trail starting at Kingdom Dome. Um, to some, it's an opportunity to explore the beauty and rich history that we have here in Onslow County. And to Duke Energy, it's really an opportunity to support a program that serves not only as a gateway for economic development, but also for environmental education. And we, and we want to support and enrich all those activities that really strengthen our communities. This project reflects our ongoing commitment to serving local communities by protecting the health of the environment and wildlife habitats. And for me, having grown up in, uh, or being born in Bladen County and now an active part of the Onslow County community, I'm excited to be able to tell my friends and family about the whole Cape Fear Arch and Onslow Bight so that they can understand what what a special place that we live in and the value that we uh, have here in 
in Onslow County. So regardless of your backgrounds, we can all appreciate the natural beauty around us. It's important that we do all we can to preserve and protect that for North Carolina. So thank you to the Mountains and the Sea Trail for your commitment to preserving our state's beauty. And thank you for reminding us that in an age where people are constantly bombarded by technology and distractions, there are still a few places we can go and relax and delight in our surroundings. So all I can say is enjoy. Thanks. Millie, thank you for your company uh, doing the financial support for the things that we've done, the program book and the guidebook and other things. And uh, Barbara and Michael, thank you for this uh, wonderful setting and, and location this morning. We are going to now move to the, uh, the wonderful, uh, as soon as we get this boat out of the way. Uh, our next uh, thing is the ribbon cutting. And I'm glad we've got uh, the, the media here and people with cameras. We're going to move to the... Uh, the walkway over here on the other side of this boat and truck and I'd ask the uh, people that have spoken this morning to get uh, instruments over there uh, for the ribbon cutting and others will gather around and we'll engage in this ceremonial ribbon cutting. <laughs>